Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. And I'm delighted uh, to be joined now by Comrade Sangma, who is Chief Minister of the Government of Megalia. Um, Chief Minister, welcome. Thank you so much, Sam. You've just flown in and you've been nominated. Uh, that's right. Uh, we have been uh, nominated and uh, we are one of the top five uh, champions in the uh, use of ICT in governance and development. So we're waiting for the results and we're hoping that uh, uh, we win ultimately. And tell me about the project. Uh, it's a project that's uh, uh, quite simple and uh, it really looks at uh, ensuring that uh, Different departments in the government uh, sometimes tend to work in silos and uh, don't talk to each other. Uh, and also at the same time, how these departments then further uh, provide services at the grassroots level to the, to the public. Uh, this entire project, which we are calling the Meghalaya Enterprise Architecture Project, really brings a full blueprint into that project and allows departments to talk to each other and at the end also the department and the government to allow the services to flow to the people. So that's really what it is all about. And uh, if you flip the coin, uh, it ultimately leads to the uh, sustainable development goals uh, being achieved. So really the point is uh, here how the governance and how use of technology can improve the overall services to the people and in the process achieve the um, sustainable development goals. So did you implement a, a specific sort of IT project to help with communication or was it simpler? So, so basically what it is, it's actually a complete architecture of the entire governance. And um, we have multiple services. We have over 1,000 services that we provide uh, within departments, uh, interdepartmental and to the people. So this enterprise architecture allows all these services to be connected. And uh, therefore, uh, what happens is at the end, uh, we're able to uh, perform and deliver in a much more efficient manner. And we're able to provide the services in a much more quicker manner to the people, as I said, ultimately achieving the uh, sustainable development goals also in the process. So it just emphasizes the importance of collaboration and communication. Absolutely. And the use of technology yeah. in that entire process. And uh, what we have started off, uh, you know, a simple example uh, I can give you is that one part of this project is something which we call e-proposals. Uh, so traditionally, a proposal that we used to put up by a particular department uh, could take uh, any time between 45 to 60 days for the proposal to process and to be cleared, simply because there were multiple layers in it. Now, uh, what we do is uh, using technology, uh, the same process which took 45 days is today completed in the ma manner of two to three days. Really? So that's the kind of time we save and the overall efficiency that goes up. So now imagine this multiplied into every single department, multiplied into every service we provide to the people at the end. And uh, you know, if you look at the country in uh, India, uh, we have a lot of uh, areas which are very uh, far flung and not connected. And administration is not to, you know, within the reach of uh, the general public in some areas. Uh, hence again, technology helps us to reach out to these people and save that uh, entire uh, time and also the effort for them to get the services that they need. So all this entire enterprise architecture encompasses all these aspects uh, into governance um, and uh, delivery at development at the, at the grassroots level. Yeah, and that's really interesting. We heard a really shocking statistic today, which was 46% of learners who were impacted by, by COVID and couldn't go to school. That's right. And not connected to the internet. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's true. And in fact, um, in our country also, uh, we had similar uh, challenges. But then again, with the use of technology and uh, with the use of connectivity, mm -hmm. uh, though we were not able to reach all because there are some parts which still uh, don't have the required uh, bandwidth and the connectivity, but to a large extent, we were able to overcome that because of the fact that we had uh, uh, technology with us to reach out and have online classes, even in rural areas of the nation. And um, what are you most looking forward to with your time here at uh, WISIS Forum 2022? Well, um, I look forward to really uh, listening to others and uh, seeing what other champions have done in, in their field, what other countries and other states are doing. I think it's a great platform and an opportunity to, for, to learn from each other. Um, our challenges might be different in nature, but sometimes uh, the different technologies that are there, which we may not have thought of, I think uh, would really allow us to learn more. So I really look forward to what others have done and to learn from the others. Chief Minister, thank you very much for your time. Sam, thank you very much, Sam.